Aiden. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for joining the family. Y'all, we got our first viral video. I'm so excited. Currently it's like 50K, but it, it's rising. I've been trying, I've been trying. And y'all finally found me. So, which is why today I really wanted to do a little get to know me, chit chat, reintroduce myself type video. Um, because like I said, we have a lot of new people who subscribed and y'all don't know me. So we might as well just do a little get to know me while I do updates on what's going on in life for my OGs. <laughs> So again, thank you for joining me and enjoy this lovely chit chat video. First thing first, we I have been getting a lot of questions regarding where I got my Chicago Bulls bomber jacket from that video. If you have not seen it yet, go check it out. It's crazy. People are falling in love with it. And I've had it for a very long time. I've had it for about three years. And to be honest, I stole it from my ex. <laughs> are y'all surprised? Like you could have guessed from the video um, that I posted. I didn't really steal it per se. He was about to get rid of it. I wanted to wear it. I liked it. I kept it. He was cool with it. So he did get it a long time ago. So if I've had it for three years, he got it probably three to six years ago. He did say he got it from Paxson. I did check their website. It is no longer on there. So I'm sorry. They do have other versions of it. Like they have t-shirts and like... I don't know other jackets crop tops and things like that nothing as cool as the bomber jacket but they do have other versions of it if you are a Bulls fan so oh gee I need to stop smacking my lips that's literally getting on my nerves <laughs> I apologize for that I will work on it anyways how are y'all doing on your new year resolutions cuz I honestly have been doing good for the most part. There are certain areas that I am slacking, but I think we, we hit our six month mark or halfway through the year, which is crazy to think about. Like 2024 was, it just started and now we're halfway done. Um, but yeah, I know that at the beginning of the year, we did learn how to make a vision board. We discussed, you know, how to make a realistic goals um, for the year, you know, things that will fit with our schedule, our lifestyle. Um, and then we talked about short term goals and long term goals. So I just wanted to follow up and see where y'all were at on it because I'm not gonna lie, some of them I'm doing great, others I remember <laughs> what I said. Um, if you remember watching that video, this is what the vision board for me looks like I you know the saying when you tell God your plans and he laughs yeah he laughed at a couple of these <laughs> if you remember I um, planned on moving and I did kind of move I packed everything up I applied for this apartment that I wanted I got approved I grabbed all my stuff, put it in my car, drove all the way there, went to go pick up my keys, walked into the apartment, and it looked different than the one, the layout that I saw and the layout that I was given. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> like, not only was it was like, it was the same floor plan, but but it was reversed and because it was reversed my couch would not have fit yeah the apartment obviously it's an apartment obviously people live in it they move out and then they flip it but i walked into that apartment and there were just cracks the floor was uneven there was patches missing from the carpet there were stains and i was like oh no baby this isn't gonna work for me and i'm in the leasing business so I had very high expectations and and the lady that was working with me was was playing too much she wasn't responding it, it was the whole situation was a hot mess 
And so I was like, you know what? Let me get my deposit back. Um, let me get my check back. And I'll just stay in the apartment that I currently am. And I am so glad and thankful that this apartment that I'm currently in, that I was in and thought about leaving, was not sold. So I was able to just come back and continue with my lease. That was one of my goals for 2024. And God was like, no, honey, you're not ready. <laughs> you need to stay. And honestly, I am so grateful that I stayed because I went through a breakup in the midst of all of that. And honestly, I really think that it would have been too much change for me. And I'm a control freak. I would like to control my whole life. I want to know what's going to happen before it happens. If something changes, it's because I said I want it to change. Like, I, I don't like a lot of change. Um, so it worked out in my favor. It worked out for the best and to stay here. And I'm so grateful. And I've just made it a safe environment for me to heal and grow from anything and every other trauma I have acquired over the past 21 years of my life. Um, so that was one of the goals that I really didn't get to achieve this year, but honestly, like we said, it was for the best. Um, the gym. So... The gym is a whole other story because I definitely do not go to the gym as much as I used to. I still go to the gym about two to three, sometimes four days a week, but I do not go to the gym every single day for hours on end anymore because I have learned that I go to the gym to run away, to hide, to low-key entertain myself. Um, I was, I'm such an introvert, but I, I was worse. I was scared to step outside out of my comfort zone to try new things. So I would go to the gym just so that I could say I left my house and then come back. And that was something that needed to change. So I still go to the gym. I still care about my health. I still drink my water, all of that lovely stuff. I love exercising. I love working out. It, it makes me feel so good and so strong and independent um, but I don't hide behind it I don't let it take up all of my spare time and I have been forcing myself to go out more to try new places by myself that's the key by myself I can go places and I used to go places with my partner and my partner only um, and now I'm forced to go out by myself try new things and I spend all of my time at the gym because before my routine would be get up, go to work, come home, eat a snack, go to the gym. And by the time I was done spending an hour and a half to two hours at the gym, all I have time for was a shower, dinner, and bed. And that would be seven days a week. <laughs> uh, and then when I was with my partner, it was hang out with him, go to the gym with him, um eat food like the only other thing I did was like go eat food and that was it and I was like okay reduce the amount of time because exercise is good for you you need to exercise so I still needed to exercise three to four times a week but it did not need to be two hours a day it just did not so I reduced that and I spend my time trying new things and getting out of my comfort zone and talking to people and not being scary so I've been doing really really good but that is something that I've had to adjust on my vision board here in the past six months um the other major thing is savings so I have been working on my savings it was going very well it was very successful even with all this moving you know, all this craziness that's been happening um I, I was really really adamant about it I was very consistent it was growing I liked what I saw and then <laughs> and then I went to take my car to get my oil changed and they were like um you have an oil leak I was like oil leak okay that doesn't sound too bad let me take it to a mechanic I took my car to a mechanic only for them to give me a list of 11 things that cost me in grands plural <laughs> amount ungodly amount of money to fix so many things now I bought my car used three years ago and it's been through a lot because I'm not 
the best driver on the planet. So, yeah, that kind of like dented my savings, but I worked on it and because I saved, I had what I needed in order to get my car. What are the chances that I will reach my goal that I have set for myself in regards to my savings? It's very, very slim. But I am grateful that I did start it and it went towards something that I actually need. I mean, that is why we have a savings. It's for emergencies and things like that that we need that come up unexpectedly um, so that we can utilize that. And when we don't, you know, hurt ourselves, we're not in debt. And I'm glad that I set that goal for myself, even though I might not reach it because I set it and because I was working on it, I was able to utilize that for my car as needed. So that was another goal that I have set that I might not <laughs> reach. But again, we're only halfway there. God only knows what will happen at the end of the year. So it's okay. The other one was YouTube. YouTube, I didn't know what to expect because I've never done anything like that. So this year, it was more of figuring out how to do it, fig like dipping my toes in the water, seeing, you know, what I can do, where I can go with it. And then the next year, I was going to set a concrete goal. So I put down like 25K subscribers. I mean, it's not impossible. I will still work towards that. But if I knew if I didn't reach that, it wasn't going to be the end of the world. And... Girl, we doing good. We doing good, okay? As long as I am consistently working on these goals, like, the end result is all good. Um, the other thing is travel. Travel and drink water. Drinking water, I really, at the beginning of the year, I, I was horrible at. I only drink like two bottles of water consistently and that's it and I need to drink more. I still really struggle to naturally drink enough water for the day like i really have to think about it and i really really have to force myself to do it but i am doing it like i'm very well hydrated so i'm really great and that was an easy goal like remember when i told you you need some goals that are going to be difficult to reach and then you need some goals that are you know a lot a little bit easier for you to reach because if all of your goals are super difficult you're going to get fatigued and disappointed and just frustrated and you you're more likely to quit so i did throw in a few goals that are super easy like drink water um because when i achieve them it makes me feel good it makes me feel more confident and makes me want to keep going and keep me motivated to reach the harder goals such as savings and traveling and eating healthy <laughs> yeah so that's where i'm at in life right now really nothing too crazy has changed However, I do want to hear from you. How is your 2024 goals going? Did you make any? Did you make a vision board? Is it hiding under your bed? I know at the beginning of the year, we hear a lot of talk about vision boards, setting goals for the year, how we visualize our new year and how we want it to go. And then a few years or a few months later, we don't hear much talk about goals. And... I just want to hear from you. Where are you at on that? Did we forget about it? Are we working on it? Let me know down in the comments section. I really, really appreciate y'all joining me on today's video. For our new subscribers, welcome again. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here and I'm so excited to see where we go from here. I love y'all. Try a new color because I usually get just plain old French tips. So. Y'all should be excited for me. Again, bye. Make sure you subscribe if you have not yet. Like the video if anything I said made sense to you um, or resonated with you or in any way, shape, or form. It was helpful or entertaining. Let me know. With that being said, I will stop smacking my lips and leave.